I'm going to an event tonight, so I thought I would make a little get ready with me video so that you can come get ready with me while I do my makeup. I already did my hair. I actually have teeth whitening shirts in right now. And then, yeah, now I just have to do my makeup. I went to the dollar store today and I got these little beauty organizer kits that I thought would be a really great way to organize all of my makeup products because I just threw them in one huge bag for the longest time and I was like so sick of them being so disorganized and discombobulated because I'm such a, normally I'm such a neat freak. So that was like one of the big chaotic things that I just like always left and accepted. But I was recently watching Marie Kondo and I got inspired. So I went to the dollar store. I found these like little clear cases, organized a few of my things. But the problem is, is that they are way too small for most of my products. So like they don't even fit, they don't even fit this. I have to go and find like bigger ones. Maybe they have bigger ones at Walmart or something. I'll have to go check. But anyway, yeah, so let's get ready. By the way, this was the case that I had just like all of my products sitting out in for the longest time. Like they were just, there's no compartments in here. It was just like one huge bag that they were like dumped into. So yeah, the organizer is really, really nice. So I'm gonna start with a primer. This, I use, we go. I use a ton of different makeup primers. There we go. This one is by far my favorite. It has like a really, really matte finish. So I alternate between a bunch of different primers. Like this one is really great for hydrating. Like if you have really dry skin. I don't have too dry of skin right now because it hasn't been really, really dry here um, lately. I mean, it's like dry enough. If you come from, you know, Texas or something, it would be really dry. But because my skin is so used to it now, it's not too, too bad. So I like this one because it goes on really airy and light, but it has like this really nice, smooth matte finish. And it just kind of like hides any pores that I have or anything like that so kind of my go-to right now until the weather gets really dry which it will soon it's supposed to get to like minus 15 celsius this week or this weekend so I'm sure I'll be using that primer soon okay I'm gonna do something that I haven't actually done before I am going to do my eye makeup first and then my foundation. You're supposed to do it that way and I know that everybody, like every professional makeup artist does it that way because you get a lot of fallout when you use a lot of product here. But I have always done foundation, contour, all that stuff and then done my eyes. I'm not gonna do it this way this time. Okay, so I'm starting with a eyeshadow base slash primer. I'm gonna put that all over my eyelid. The one thing that I've really been bothered about is my dark circles. I've used so many different eye products and I just have always had dark circles since basically I turned like 20. I've had dark circles under my eyes. I get plenty of sleep, arguably too much sleep actually. So I don't know. I think it's just like maybe hereditary or something. If you know of any, eye creams you watching this right now and something has like really helped you please leave me a comment below so i can check it out did you know i have never whitened my teeth before ever in my entire life i've never i've used like teeth whitening toothpaste and stuff like that i've never actually done like crest white strips or had my teeth like professionally whitened before I don't know, it's just kind of like bothering me. I drink a ton of coffee. I drink coffee every single day. There is not one day I go without coffee. And I love red wine. I prefer it a thousand times over white wine. So it just, I think it was just kind of time to try a teeth whitening. I have really, really straight lashes. So this thing I use on the right here. Actually, what time is it? I think I have to go take out my teeth whitening right now. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Okay, where did I leave off? Oh, the primer. Okay, so the face is totally primed. Now I'm going to move on to the brows. So let's do the brows. Now my favorite is a brow like pomade, I don't know what I'm saying exactly, paste I think. 
uh, it's for me like it goes on the best and the easiest and I actually prefer it more than the pencil. I do like the pencil but I just find that this looks a little bit better on me. I also just organized my brushes today as well. I have my small ones for my eyes and my bigger ones here, brown. I always think of that meme, or not a meme, the, the little video of the guy, the Irish guy, he makes those funny, I actually haven't seen him in a while, I wonder where he is. Uh, those funny little videos, the brows aren't twins, they're sisters. Oh no, Jesus. Just gotta remember that they're not twins, they're sisters. <laughs> and it's just so true because my brows are so not twins. This camera is actually Kevin's camera and I just realized now that he had it on the manual focus and not the autofocus so I really hope the start of this video isn't out of focus. Moving on right along, so I got a very generous lovely package from Sigma Beauty yesterday and I was going through a bunch of the different products so I'm gonna try them out now and test out a whole bunch of different stuff. So this is their Tent and Tame Brow Gel in clear and in dark. My eyebrows are already quite dark from the pomade so I'm gonna fluff them up with the clear gel. Hopefully they will stick fluffed up because they tend to have a mind of their own. So now I'm going to do the shadow. Here's another from Sigma. It's the Enchanted Palette. I am going to be using one of the lighter colors as the base, the Quartz. Well, it goes on quite pigmented, which I really like. I don't have a lot of shadows that are like super pigmented, so I'm going to take this color, clay stone. Okay, not great, but we will blend it out soon. Okay, so let's take this liquid eyeliner pin. Liquid eyeliner is my favorite. I'm gonna do a really um, thick line tonight. I don't always do really, really thick. Sometimes I just do just the tip here and make a little wing. Tonight I'm going all out because it's a little bit more of a, a smokier look for the evening. So I'm gonna do a really thick line. Wow, this liner pen, by the way, is insane. Like it is so good. I'm really impressed with this liner. Wow. This might be my new favorite liner. Okay, so now we got the liner done. Now let's do the uh, face. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. The uh, concealer and blush and contour. Let's do the rest of the face. There we go. Nailed it. Okay, so again, normally I don't wear a ton of concealer. I just don't like the feeling of it on my face. I've said this before many times on my Instagram stories, um, and that's true. I usually normally just wear right underneath the eyes, maybe a touch of the nose, like that's about it. But tonight it's an evening look. I know I'm not gonna be out for super long. It's not gonna be like an all day wear kind of thing. And I am going to wear a little more concealer than I normally would. So I'm turning to this. This is the long, the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation by NARS. It is hands down my favorite foundation I've ever used. The coverage is insane. It gives you so much coverage. It does, I will say, it does feel um, thicker than other concealers and foundations that I've used, and that is true, but this just gives you the best coverage and a flawless finish. I sound like <laughs> I'm working for them. I don't work for them. I just really, really, really believe in this product. I love it. So we're using this and then we're using the Kevin Acoin, Acon, Acoin, I can never say his name right, but he is a brilliant makeup guru. Look at that coverage. I hope the camera is capturing it as well as it looks right now in the mirror. Sometimes I use a beauty blender. Most of the time though, I just use my finger like this for everything. Wow, that just like made me ghostly 
white. This was not the right color for me right now. I just spray tanned, so I'm gonna have to use a lot of bronzer. Now I'm gonna use this Hula bronzer and I'm just gonna add it all over my face. I look so ghostly in the camera, wow. That feels a little more natural. Okay, so now I'm going to do my contouring and I'm sticking with Sigma. I'm gonna use their Sculpt palette. Using my trusty contour brush here, I'm gonna use the Throw Shade shade. Let's do some falsies tonight. Okay, lashes are on. Let me wipe off some of this baking powder that I set. Setting powder, whatever you want to call it. And now I want to add some faux freckles. I'm so into that lately. I've been adding them like every single time I go out. I just love the look. So I'm just using a brow pencil for this. Who needs a freckle filter when you can do it in real life, right? Okay, and then I'm just gonna kinda brush it out. Okay, using the same Sculpt palette, I'm gonna take this Shine On highlight and add it everywhere I want highlight. Oh wow, it looks, wow, looks so good. What, can you see that? Looks so good. Now I'm just gonna do my lips and then we're done. Actually, I'm running late, so I should really hurry, hurry up and get going. Okay, last thing is the lips. And in my opinion, the lips, besides mascara, the lips are like the biggest thing for me. Like mascara or false lashes are a must and so are lips, especially lip liners. So I am using Annabelle in the color Spice for my liner and I like to color it in. Okay, so my memory card on my camera is full. So we're finishing this last little bit on my iPhone. So I used Annabelle in the color Spice for my lip liner and I just lined and then colored in on the edges here. I think it actually makes your lips look a little bit fuller when you do it that way. And then now I'm using the Sigma liquid lipstick in the color Behold. This is a really matte um, lipstick. It goes on really matte, so this isn't a lipstick I would wear every day because I have naturally really dry lips. In fact, I'll probably add a touch of lip chap on top of this, a little bit of uh, Vaseline. But that's it, this is the whole look so thank you for taking the time to watch this and get ready with me now i'm running late so i have to go to this event and that's it so i'll see you guys next week